Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about Pine Harbor and where it's up to with its development. Five months ago we dropped into the demo and checked it out and there wasn't a ton of content but things seemed pretty promising. But before we start I'll quickly go over what Pine Harbor is. Pine Harbor is a first person survival horror experience developed by a Vision Forge team. Taking inspiration from classic titles like Resident Evil, the game throws you headfirst into a desperate struggle for survival. You explore a decaying town scavenging for resources facing horrifying mutated creatures, all while piecing together the fragments of what went wrong. So the game itself is set to officially release on Steam on April 26th, 2024. Four months ago they released their early access trailer, and the first half of the trailer mostly just shows the environmental aspects of the game, but things start to get interesting on the second half, where we see some characters talking to our protagonist in incredibly high detail. Everything looks really, really nice. I hope the actual final game that we play looks anything like it. It'll look great. Now, it's not really known if we get to join these AI in the fight. I think it's more than likely that these characters will fade off into the background as they give you missions to do throughout the town to either bring them supplies or do something that may benefit them in some way. Now keep in mind this developer, Vision Forge team, this is actually their first release of a game. So don't expect anything groundbreaking, but I can tell you that from the gameplay that I've played in the demo, it is very solid. It runs very smoothly on my pretty rough hardware. I'm only running a 2070 Super and I can play the entire game on Ultra with no stuttering whatsoever. So hopefully those of you with lower spec PCs shouldn't have too many issues. Obviously, this will be a different case once we get out into the more open environments, but hopefully that's a good benchmark of what's to come. In terms of combat, it looks like the two guns that we get in the demo are going to be the only guns in the game. This has been confirmed by the devs in some of the YouTube comments in their videos. But upon the full release, which is much, much further down the track, they are looking to add around six different weapons. For those of you wondering if the game is going to go to console, the devs have responded to numerous comments with varying responses, at some points saying yes it will after development is complete, and at other times saying no, not at all. The times that the devs said no, not at all was more recent, and I do personally believe this will be the case. I just don't think this game is going to get enough traction to warrant them going to console. However, you never know what's going to happen. I guess if it gets enough hype and enough people inquire, they may consider that option. It does look like there will be day and night environments. I don't know whether this will be a live day and night cycle. It's more likely that once you go into a building and come back out, it may have changed to night once you've been in there for a while. I'm not too sure. But there are definitely screenshots of night environments when you're outside and also there in the daytime. When it comes to storyline and what the actual game is about, it turns out there was a technological disaster that occurred at the seaside village which is what caused all these different things to happen. So your time in game is spent trying to figure out how that disaster occurred and also trying to get out of there at the same time. I really hope this goes into a lot of depth as I think it'll just give it that little extra something that this game may need. I do however believe the best thing that this game has going for it is a very, very active dev team. The dev team consists of six different people and they are very active across all their social medias and where they update things. Discord, YouTube, Twitter are all filled with different comments from the devs responding to people throughout this entire process, as well as the Steam comments and discussions on Steam. This gives me a lot of hope that this game has a lot of effort put into it, especially a lot of the areas that we haven't seen, and I really do hope this comes out really nicely. For those of you who want to go check the game out, it is available on Steam right now as a demo. It's only a small area that you can play and the enemies seem to respawn, but it gives you a good indicator of how the game is coming along. I personally am not a massive fan of how the gunplay is, but I'm hoping it gets tweaked up slightly. The enemies are very, very brutal as there is no difficulty setting. Something like three hits and you're completely down and you have to restart. So I think a lot of people were getting frustrated with that when playing the demo. But otherwise, take a look for yourselves give the devs some uh, feedback. I think it'll be really helpful for them. Now, there is something I want to discuss which has come up as I've been editing this video and looking at different footage. And I want you to compare these two clips and watch them with me and see what's different about them.
that is the first video and now for the second. Do not follow me! So this is me just being very nitpicky, but I really find that the first clip's ambience and audio is just so much better than the second. The second is the footage that I recorded, and the first footage is from a trailer or a teaser 11 months ago that came out. I personally find the lighting, some of the ambient noises, and just, just the overall atmosphere of the first clip so much more spooky. I don't mind the visual effects, like if the visuals were too much or whatever, that's completely fine, but these audio elements that really just hammered the bass into your ears as you're walking along and a lot of the water dripping, it sounded so much better to me personally. Um, and just some of those noises when you're entering the bathroom itself, you could see the light flickering and everything. And the monsters themselves, I think, sounded scarier. I'm not sure if these changes are permanent or if... Uh, you know, this is just a demo thing or whatever, but I personally really prefer the uh, teaser trailers demos. And I understand that these could be effects added in post-production when making the actual film clip. But uh, hey, if you guys can add these back in, that would be absolutely awesome. I uh, I would find that so much more creepy having that constant, you know, that, that monotone bass in your ears, a lot of that atmospheric noise. I just think it would be fantastic. So should you be excited? If you're a fan of atmospheric horror games that blend exploration and resource management with some light combat, then Pine Harbor is definitely something worth keeping an eye on. The early access tag might mean there's still some kinks to iron out, but the potential for it should be pretty good. So what are you most curious for about in Pine Harbor? Let me know in the comments below, and if you've played the demo, hit me with your first impressions. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming game coverage, and I'll see you guys next time.